introduction to green building. So you might have heard it already, like green building is a building that is in design, construction, and operation. Reduces or eliminates the negative impacts and great positive impacts on climate and natural environment. So nowadays, uh, many uh, commercial buildings and industrial buildings, the client requests us to go with the green building. The main reason for it is that the impact, as well as the cost saving, uh, only the uh, <clears throat> first cost is what is higher than the regular buildings, whereas the maintenance and the operation cost is uh, comparatively less than a regular building. So what are the features can make a green building? So effective use of energy, water and other resources like automatic taps and lights. So if you remember, uh, if you remember like uh, in our uh, restrooms in VAT, I think so it's automatic taps as well as uh, lights using automatic lights. They reduce the consumption of water as well as uh, energy. Then coming to renewable resources, we also have uh, solar energy and wind, uh, wind turbines in VAT, then pollution and waste reduction measures and the enabling of reuse and recycling. This also is covered in VAT by having uh, recycled uh, water, which is used for gardening purpose in VAT campus. Then good indoor quality and air quality. Here we can, I assume like uh, we have many plans in VAT and also like uh, we have uh, open windows and uh, good lightings and good placement of windows as that natural lighting is enabled in our classrooms as well as in libraries. So use of materials that are non-toxic, ethical and uh, uh, sustainable consideration of environment and design and construction operation. So this uh, comes uh, need nowadays like building uh, structure in any location may result in uh, environmental changes. For example, if there is a tree or a few plants around your uh, structure which you're going to build, we must always try to avoid uh, removing the plants or the trees. We have to uh, change our design in a way that the plants or the trees are not destroyed and it helps us here in a good environment near, near the building. So coming to the uh, next. What are the benefits of green building? So the benefits of green building is as it reads, re reduces environmental benefits are reducing the wastage of water. Economic benefits reducing the operating cost. That's what uh, I told earlier, like uh, the uh, first cost of uh, uh, making it is uh, comparatively high compared to regular building, whereas the operation cost will be reduced. Then improve quality of life. Since you have a uh, natural lighting and uh, uh, good ventilation and air circulations, your life will be changed because uh, the uh, light as well as uh, the air circulations helps in have a healthy body. Nowadays, I still remember a few of my friends have been uh, uh, consulted by doctors and told them like you have to stay in the sunlight. We have been more into the uh, room like you have been work from home and uh, your vitamin D level has been reduced. So your bones are weak and all for all these things you must have a natural lighting to accompany it. So coming to the uh, next, like this is one of a typical uh, green building which has been uh, done. So here you can see rooftop plantings like the use of rooftop planting. It keeps the uh, uh, building below it cool. So if you remember in uh, villages or uh, in regular towns, you can remember uh, during summer we usually uh, spray water in top of the uh, terrace. The main reason for it is the water that on top of the terrace evaporates and it keeps the uh, room under in it cool. So the same concept is what is used here and the rooftop planting is helps, helps us with the same thing. The only thing is you don't regularly need to uh, spray the water there. Like you just spray it and it just stays under the roof uh, roots of the plants. Then coming to the photovoltaic generations, as I told earlier, it's uh, just the uh, renewable energy that's been used. So then coming to the uh, uh, trees on the left. So here you can see, uh, see that the uh, trees are placed near the windows. The main reason for it is the it is uh, may, uh, can be or must be placed in the southern side. The southern side is the place where you get most of the sunlight. So avoiding the sunlight, direct sunlight into a house reduces the uh, heating of a house and uh, helps us in the cooling, uh, keeping the uh, temperature reduced compared to the exterior uh, temperature. So that's why we usually place plants on the uh, southern side or southern direction of our uh, building. Then we have the wastewater reuse. Then we have when uh, open ventilation systems that we uh, how the air flows inside and go moves outside, keep everyone healthy. 
So coming to the next point. So what is the green building rating system? Uh, so a rating system can be defined as a set of uh, three requests and recommends that a project team must fulfill in order to receive a certification. Uh, for example, you have the uh, rating system in uh, normal uh, electronics items like five star, three star rating. The similar rating we have for this green buildings. So each and every country, the uh, rating system varies with the different names. We have it as Bream in UK, Lead in US, Green Globes in Canada, Green Star in Australia, Beam in Hong Kong, EWH in Taiwan, GBCS in South Korea, CASB in Jap Japan, and Griha in India. So introduction to Griha and uh, what is the use of it? The Griha is an acronym of, for uh, Green Rating for in Integrated Habitat Assessment India. It was established in 2007. Griha is a Sanskrit word meaning abode, an innovative tool for sustainable development by the United Nations. It was created by the United Nations. So here the Griha rating is nowadays uh, uh, widely used for any government projects. Like uh, they require you just keep a standard uh, practice. Now presently I'm working in a project in Assam where I'm building an uh, inland water terminal for Assam government. Oh, there uh, there's a terminal building which is uh, helps in regulating the uh, flow of uh, vehicles and people into the uh, birthing pontoon and ticketing booths are present over there. So just for a G plus one building, they require the Griha rated uh, green building concept to be used. So nowadays uh, green building is what is the next sort of uh, thing. So the same uh, after another uh, five to six years, this Griha may be a regular rating which will be incorporated in all the industrial as well as the uh, commercial building purposes. Then coming to objectives of Griha and why choose Griha. So as discussed earlier, like like, like a regular uh, green building concept, the resource consumption waste generation overall ecological impact should be reduced. We have to evaluate the environmental performance of the building holistically over its entire life cycle. Therefore, a different standard for what constitutes a green building. That is, uh, what if we construct the building, what all uh, impact it gives on the environment has to be studied. Based on accepted energy and environmental principles, it has to be built. Uh, reduce energy consumption without sacrificing the comfort level. Uh, reduction, destruction of natural habitats, biodiversity, and reduce soil loss for erosion, etc. should be avoided. This is, as I told earlier, uh, uh, try to keep what all things is around you as uh, already existing as it is and not try to remove it or uh, replace it, which may affect the environment. Uh, for uh, example, uh, if you have uh, moved to North Madras near uh, NH4, that is uh, above uh, uh, Ennur port, there are, uh, there are uh, normal stone uh, stone bridges which run uh, perpendicularly to the shore of the uh, NH4. The reason for the concern of this, the, uh, this thing is uh, named as groins. These groins are uh, uh, made due to the erosion that is uh, due to the uh, construction of this Ennur port. So due to the Ennur port, what happens is the soil from the top, that is this N4 location, the, it gets eroded and get accumulated onto the uh, Inner port side and the Marina beach side. So another reason that we have the longest, second longest beach is due to this erosion and accretion process due to the man-made uh, uh, port structure. So always try to understand how the uh, natural habitat or the environment will be affecting if we construct a new set of port or any structure in a natural environment. So that is what it, re it reads like reduced restriction of natural areas, habitats and biodiversities. So coming to why we, should, you, we use Griha and not go with LEED. So LEED is what is adapted in US and is primarily based on the per, per cap, uh, capita energy consumption in uh, developed nations. Whereas in India, the per capita energy consumption is very low compared to developed nations. But uh, the per capita usage of water per person is uh, 270 liters per day, I think, so if I'm not wrong. Whereas in uh, US, it is it comes around like uh, 700 liters per day. And uh, so that's the main reason that why we are using uh, Griha over here. Since the energy consumption of Indians are very much less than what is than US, uh, 